Hello, this is Storytime with Miss B. Welcome back to one of my stories. Um, I'm still continuing to read some Easter stories for this week. Um, till, the, uh, till we get to Easter Sunday. So, I have some friends here with me. We've got Little Critter and Sister. Because we're reading Happy Easter, Little Critter. There's Little Critter and his sister right there. And this book is by Mercer Mayer. This is actually one of my brother's favorite um, books. He loved Little Critter books growing up, and Lucas does too. I'm glad that my little friends could join us today. It's Easter morning. I bet the Easter Bunny has come has already come. I'll quietly tiptoe downstairs and find all the Easter goodies before anyone else wakes up. But as usual, my little sister is up before me. Oh, little sister. I got a toy egg that you can look into, a wind-up bunny, some candy chickens, a bunch of chocolate eggs, and a million jelly beans. Easter gave my little sister the same thing. Dad said it's Dad says it's so we can't argue. Mom says we can't eat any of the any of it until after breakfast. Oh rules, rules, rules that parents give us. After breakfast, we have to get dressed up for church. Dad starts the car, and we all get in. How do you think he feels about having to wear that suit? Dad doesn't look like he's any happier about it. My little sister likes to get all dressed up, but I don't. <gasps> you don't? At church, I can't say anything because everyone is wearing funny hats. You know, all these silly hats. And his friend Little Mouse is in one of them. Do you see him? After church, all the kids die Easter eggs. You guys get to die Easter eggs? I think my eggs are the best. While the eggs dry, we have a big picnic lunch. We'll look at his eggs. You see something different about them? They're painted. I think they might be cracked. When our parents hide the eggs in the field, we're not supposed to peek. Next, we will line up. And run into the field and find the eggs. How many eggs can you spot? Sometimes too many kids find the same egg. Sometimes you walk right by an egg and someone else finds it. Sometimes the little kids don't find any, so you have to help them out. Would you help a little, a smaller kid out to help find an egg? But by the time we go home, everyone had a happy Easter. Looks like they finally get to eat their candy, too. 
I hope you've enjoyed our story today. Happy Easter, little critter. We can thank little critter and sister coming to join us to read their story today. I'm sure they'll come back to join us for other stories that are about them. I have several of them we can read. I have most of the ones back there. And I hope you have a great day and you've enjoyed the story. Thank you.